the water signs. Um, this is your reading for the second half of October. Thank you all for those who did view your individual readings last week. Um, Pisces, Cancer. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Oh my gosh, that Mercury retrograde already has me talking all types of crazy. Um, this will be your reading for the second half of October. Alrighty, let's get started. To get started, I'm going to start with the Earth Magic card. As always, I like to start with those cards. Um, just to get some really, like, clear messages. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these right away. Um, the first card I have at the bottom of the deck is Vision Quest. So maybe some of you, it's like... You're following new dreams and goals. A lot of people have this new creative energy coming out for this month. Um, maybe that's just for some of you. All right, let me see. All right, God, please give me some cards for the collective signs of water signs for the second half of October. Any advice, insights, or clarity that you have for them? Okay, well, the first one that popped up it's a new moon promise card. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit more about this promise card? Anything? Well, what is to be promised for the water signs this month? Wow. We have the rainbow blessings card. Awesome. Okay. Can you please give me two more cards for the collective sign? For the water signs at this time. Two beautiful cards for water signs. There's one. Release. Autumnal Equinox Release. And this did come in the reverse. So maybe there's some things that still need to be released. Maybe there's some things that you still need to release. Okay. Um, can you please give me one more card for the collective of water signs for the month of October? Well, well we have two. So maybe that's okay so i'm thinking with this volcano vol volatility card that's going to be something that needs to be released maybe there's something you're still angry about um that needs to be released at this time and then i have for the last card the green man synergy card so definitely coming more in alignment with self um your higher self as well as god i'm getting for some of you but there's definitely you know, a need to release any anger, volatility, um, you know, any hostile feelings that you may have at this time towards anyone. Okay, can I please get a clarification for this promise card? Okay, oh well, we have two clarifications. Okay. So the first one that came up was, was adjacent possibilities okay so with this new promise maybe there's a whole bunch of different possibilities of what that could be for some of you um i'm also getting healer of the ages as a second card so maybe um there's definitely some healing that needs to take place or maybe some healing will take place maybe some of you um will get some help along the way maybe counseling some of you will be tarot readings um, or tarot readers like myself that could help you all um, through this. And with the adjacent possibilities, maybe there's a whole bunch of possibilities, you know, unlocking or unleashing at this time um, for some of you. Okay. So can I get a clarification for this new blessings for the, the Water Signs Collectives for the second half of October? What are these new blessings that are going to come in for the water signs in October? Whoa, a whole bunch of cards today. Okay, awesome. Okay, so, whoa, we have the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. It's the first one that popped up. Okay, for the blessings card. Awesome. Well, thank you. Um, and the fourth chakra, let me see. If I can remember, <laughs> um, no, actually, I cannot remember. Let me grab my book really quick. Because I do have a book on here for that. Let Then I 
have two more cards for you guys after. But I'd just like to clarify this up for those of you who don't really know. I'm thinking of myself sometimes, it can be very helpful. Alright. Is this the fourth one? I believe so. Awesome. Okay, so with the fourth one, it's the solar plexus chakra. And with that, that's power, fear, anxiety, or introversion. Okay, awesome. All right, cool. So with that coming up, maybe there is like a blessings like maybe you will not have so much fear or anxiety anymore maybe the blessing will be like this new power that comes in for you let me see okay awesome and then what we're also seeing moving forward is like maybe you're gonna require a lot of strength moving forward because then we have the action card that came out with that so maybe you guys are moving forward to these new blessings, um, but it's going to require a lot of strength to release whatever it is that you are still holding on to or whatever is still burdening you, you at this time. Um, and the last card that came out with the journey card with that as well. So some of you definitely are going on a new journey um, that's going to require a great deal of patience strength um but also just being honest with yourself and you're gonna need a lot of balance as well um let me see can i have a clarification card for the synergy for the synergy of the balance oh wow awesome <laughs> um i got the yin and yang so yeah definitely balancing your two sides um balancing within yourself but what i'm seeing here is like I also have the goddess of the moon card so like a lot of you like this could be at night maybe some of you work at night um but that's just a select few of you or maybe some of you it's better for you to kind of reflect at night um and that's just some of you but definitely i'm also getting the victory card so there will be a victory um with these new blessings that are promised to you um but it's definitely going to take a lot of strategy moving forward on your journey but try not to be volatile or get angry very quickly try to stay very level-headed some of you may be dealing with a broken heart um that's just for a select few of you but know that it's going to get easier um and maybe with this healing card that's for some of you maybe you will be healed from this broken heart maybe some of you will even have other possibilities and love moving forward but definitely with the strategy card um be smart about it moving forward but you will have a victory in love. And that's just a select few of you. Maybe some of you singles who are looking for love. Yeah, because then I also have after that is the woman holding a coin. So some of you who have financial constraints or problems with money at this time, um, definitely hold close to your money. <laughs> Try to save up as much as possible. And definitely the door to romance is open for some of you um, moving forward into this last half of the month alrighty so let me see just to end this reading I'm gonna pull a positive message for you so can I please get one or two beautiful positive messages for the water signs for the end of October I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shuffle this one more time and see what beautiful messages come through for you thank you God for these beautiful messages that came through Please give me one to two beautiful cards for the water signs, collective the water signs, for this month of October. Oh wow, that is so funny. I look on the TV and guess what was playing? The song is the solar plexus, so definitely working on that fourth chakra. Um, you can definitely look it up if you need more information. That's definitely... <laughs> The main thing for a lot of people is to work on that fourth chakra and that's your power that's any fears that you may have that you need to really face at this time all right please help me to get one card beautiful positive message 
for Pisces, Cancers, Scorpios for this month of October, for the second half of October, moving into November. Thank you. All right. Beautiful. We got two beautiful cards for you all. All right. So, the first one that popped up. Okay. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. Beautiful. Such a beautiful card. The second one. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. So definitely it's all about the love of the universe and your faith towards the universe or God at this time. Definitely keep that strong and know that, you know, right now things will get better for you. Just keep your faith um, and definitely, you know, and that will make you happier as well. And just let go and let God and know that God definitely has your best interests at heart. And know that the universe definitely does have your back and is going to help you to heal and to release anything that you need to release at this time to become more balanced with yourself, especially with this yin yang um, being the last card. Definitely coming into balance with yourself in 22 as well. Um, very balanced number. So, for all of you beautiful water signs, this was your reading for the second half of October. Um, please remember that the universe does have your back. Um, you will have new blessings as well. Um, just stay patient and know that new doors are opening for you moving forward. All right, so please like, share, subscribe to my page as well. New readings will be uploaded for you next week as well. Moving into November, I will have an individual, um, readings all set up for each and every water sign. So check those out as well. Thank you.